In this video today, we're gonna to look at how do you calculate your entry price on multiple fills. Stay tuned. Hey guys, warm welcome to So Question here. It seems pretty simple, but I get it because when you're first trading, sometimes it's a bit confusing. The question is this, if you are trading and you get multiple fills, let's draw our classical little chart here, i.e. you're buying, 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 a little bit here, a little bit there, scalping into the position, how do you calculate your break even price? Now, generally speaking, a broker's gonna do this for you, and yes, we're all lazy as traders, we kind of let the broker do it, we look at our blotter and it says, okay, your average entry price is this. It does the whole thing. But sometimes, maybe you want to split up trades into sequences, so to speak. So you might say, okay, I've had 10 entries or five entries here. I've had five entries here and I've had three entries here and I'm treating them as different trades, but your broker is going to wrap them all up into the trade. But for your reporting purposes, you want to calculate that entry price, that aggregate entry price, and then that average entry price and treat them separately. So it makes sense to think about how you do it. Now for most people, okay, this is a relatively simple thing to do, but you know, for new traders out there, and if you're a new trader, you might be going, okay, well, how do I do it? All right, so we've got a scenario now. Let's say the market's come down and it's chugging down and you know, you've had staggered out a load of buys and let's imagine you've staggered out a load of buys and it's come down and it's kind of done, um, and let's say it's kind of moved up and back, whatever it's done. The point is these are your outcomes. Let's say you've done uh, 10 orders. So you've done 10 orders, 10 contracts, 10 pounds a point, 10 lots, um, whatever. Oh, okay, you could have 10,000 shares. Let's say you've done, uh, so we're doing 10 in total. Let's say you, you bought two at 10, and let's say you bought another three at 11, say, and this would probably be more of your scaling up. Let's say you bought three at 11, and you bought one at, say, 12, and another one at 10, and then you bought your last three at 15, okay? So those are your fills on your blot. So you've done all those, and you've got all those. So uh, what do you do? How do you work out your average entry price? Well, one way of doing it is to say, okay, well, how many have I got in total? Well, I've got three done at 10. Let's have a look over here. I've got three at 10, and that's equal to 30. And I've got uh, three at 11. So that's equal to uh, 33, and I've got one at 12, which is equal to 12, obviously, and I've got three at 15, which is equal to 45. 30, 33, 12, 45 is 120, and if I divide that by 10, because that's my total, three, six, nine, 10, I know I've got 10 lots, then my average is 10 lots at a total of, or an average of 12. So I can work out on that chart, if you wanted to do it that way, that hey, my average entry is here, regardless of where I've bought, and that's where I'm gonna work from. So yeah, whilst I say that the, the, the broker will probably do all that kind of stuff for you and it'll aggregate it, if you kind of bought a cluster here, came up and you bought another bit on a pullback, et cetera, and you've got a multiple positions, but you want to treat that as a sole position, that will be the kind of benefit of this. You'll be like, okay, that's position one, that's position two, that's position three. Um, can I fit this on a screen? I can do it here. So I'll just do an example, guys, of what I actually mean. So let's say you've bought here, it's gone up, it's pulled back a bit, gone, done this, pulled back a bit uh, to here. You know, that would be position one, which is all your scaling, scaling in here. That could be position two, and then that could be position three, just for kind of hypothetical example. Uh, your broker would aggregate all of those, and they might be in the 40s, they might be in the 50s, but you want to split them out for your own reporting purposes and to know if your strategy is working well by saying, okay, well, that's trade one. Okay, well, in trade one, I scaled in, I did all this, so my average entry is 10 of them at 12. You know, the two was this, and there'd be different numbers. My average entry is, you know, seven units at, at 32, and what have you. And so that when you scale out, you can say, well, I'm gonna scale out you know, my, my last one first, or however you like to report as well, whether it's FIFO or LIFO, first in, first out, or first in, last out, FILO, um, you can choose how to do it, and that just gives you a little bit more control. So, that's a very quick video, guys. Hopefully that's helped out if you're someone who's kind of does a lot of scaling, a lot of orders around a kind of entry point or an area to do business and wants to kind of have a, one way of doing it. There are other ways of doing it, but one way of doing it that kind of works okay if you got to, can do some rental arithmetic or just stick it into a calculator. It doesn't matter, guys. Who cares? As long as you get the number out, and that's one way of doing it. All right, guys, take care. How you calculate your entry price on multiple fills. Bye-bye.